Cycling is a way of life for Gregory Taranowski. Depending on what type of day it is, I ride every other day the 30, 40, 50, or 70 miles. He began cycling about a year ago to get in shape. I was 210 pounds in November. I'm 175 now. I haven't been 175 pounds since I joined the Navy in 1975 when I was 18 years old. Every two weeks, he takes time out of his hectic cycling schedule to perform another one of his favorite routines, coming into Florida's blood centers and donating platelets. Gregory started donating blood in 2000 when his mother-in-law was suffering from ovarian cancer. Then he began donating platelets and made it a part of his life. He says his newfound exercise routine goes hand in hand with his donation schedule. Right when I started, I didn't want to donate after I had ridden a bike. And then one day, it was just a beautiful day in December, and I went out for a 40-mile 40, 40 bike ride. And I came there, and I said, hey, I don't know, my blood pressure or pulse or something might be a little high. And on the aspirasis machine, normally every so often it will alarm for uh, low pressure or high pressure. And whenever I don't, whenever I ride before I donate, the machine does not alarm at all. So it really makes me feel better to ride and then donate. And pretty soon, the uh, are going to be going in there. Gregory recently became a 20-gallon donor. He often brings his daughter with him in the hope she'll learn the importance of helping others. I don't feel as good know any of the people I'm helping, but I'm sure there's quite a few that I have helped so far. Gregory's desire to help people doesn't end with blood donation. He's found a way to help people by cycling. In October, he's riding nearly 200 miles to raise money for multiple sclerosis. I'm Nancy Gay for Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.